Ahoy, 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 everyone. Tricky Luggers, how's it going? Welcome. Welcome. It's Monday. Monday, Monday, Monday. We're going to start Monday with a sip of coffee. We had a good weekend. We had most of the weekend off, and one of our biggest we commitments did. was to just hang out with people on Sunday morning. Yeah, right? it was nice. And that was fun. We hung out with Moto and Holly and Mini Pig Chick and, and you all. And a bunch. we also... Um, I just got notified that something just got delivered to our doorstep. I know. So it was like, do so, I sit down and say hi, or do we go and get it? Yeah. Well, so why don't you go get it now? All right. There's pirates in these waters. I know. I'm very, ex I'm very, very excited about this. Um, let's see what we got going on here. So I hope everybody is uh, week is starting off well. We are. Um, goodness, we did a little bit on the bookshop yesterday while we were here, um, and let's see who is here. Wow. Got lots of uh, lots of people today. Yeah, Richard has to leave. Bingo. <laughs> um, oh, yep, the wrong one. There we go. Oh well, I guess. <laughs> hey everybody, check it out. What just came? Something just came from Lego. What's it gonna be? I guess we will find out um, in just a minute here after uh, the doctor. <laughs> yes, after procedures, exactly right. So I'm just gonna say hi to everybody who's here. Alexander23, Apples, Aquamike TV, Ben Dury is here, Blair Archer, hi Blair. Uh, Brick Fiesta 2020 is here, hey there. Brick Anista, uh, Chris Toe Cutter and the Knight Rider Chalice. <laughs> um, see you later. Uh, Darren Siegfried is here, how's it going? Um, Don uh, Sloboda. That's a new name we haven't seen here before. Welcome. Um, Devo Bricks. Hooded One. It's Unreal One. Uh, another new name I don't recognize. Uh, John Luttrell. Johnny Cat. Hi, Johnny. Um, Joshua Steele. Yano River Blue. Moto. Uh, Remy Baker. Rob Zaccardi. Shane LeVan. Smoke Up Johnny. The Hornburgers. Hey, Hornburgers. Um, Wilfred. Bonsoir. Zach Martinez is here, and Zerakino Kim. How's everybody doing? I'm sorry, I started laughing because the street sweeper went by, and <laughs> Logan made a daring escape from the back of the house. And um, I could just hear his little his little claws like clattering off in there. So Matthew Builds Bricks is here. Hey, how's it going, Matthew? Oh my goodness, that was too good. All right, Logan, go see Daddy. Will you call him? Logan. There we go. <laughs> so real when real life happens on the show, right? Uh, anyway, mm. Daily Brick is here. Joshua Steele. Wow, everybody's showing up. Very good. Um, yes. <laughs> um, oh, and you guys. So I checked out. Um, the Hornburgers have a um, a YouTube channel. And also Instagram. And we checked them out on Instagram and on YouTube yesterday while they were doing their, uh, they did a bake and build, which was super fun. And they made banana bread while building the um, Harry Potter Whomping Willow set. And it was a super good time. So definitely check them out. We have a lot of people, and I know Brick Anista sent me an email saying she was sorry she wasn't going to be here on Sunday, but now she's doing a live stream involving football and building. So that's awesome. I am, uh, we are not sports ball people. Uh, here, but I totally get it. I know a lot of people really uh, that would be fun like brick and sports. I used to do those That's where they got those awesome crater plates that somebody used for their um, For their build. So all oh, Marilyn Parmley's here. Hi, Marilyn um, uh, So let's see what is going on. Oh, yes, we're doing a subscriber drive if you're new and you want to uh, see what we're up to, you can hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button. We are doing a subscriber drive. We're trying to get the 2,000 subscribers. And when we get the 2,000 subscribers, we are going to be giving away... Oh, yeah, no, we're not giving that no, away. No, not that one. That one. <laughs> no. Uh, we're giving away the... Uh, it's the longest name ever. The Monkey, Monkey King, King... Monkey... No, sorry. Monkey, Monkey Kid. Monkey, Monkey King, King Warrior, Warrior Mech. Mech. That's the one. We built it. Um, we built it on the show. It was really fun, and we're going to be giving this away. Um, as soon as we hit 2,000 subscribers, we'll do a special broadcast, and we'll do a special show where we give it away, and we'll probably do some other giveaways, too. We've been holding some stuff back um, to, to hold out for some 
some yep. wheel spinning. Well, it's just it's fun to spin the wheel, watch it go around. Spinning right? the wheel. We haven't spun the wheel since uh, Brick Trivia Showdown. Well, that was a lot of wheel spinning, I gotta say. Yeah. So um, I'll Did bring in get... our special. Um, I mean, that's definitely a mail delivery right there, right? Yeah. Do y'all want to see what came in the Lego box? Should see? we find out? Because I honestly have zero idea. I mean, I know what it's for. I just don't know what it is. No, we haven't peaked her <laughs> anything. We just sent okay. it to the car wash. Let's see. Holly's here. Hey, Holly. How's it going? Um, okay, let's see. Um, it's Unreal 1. I know what it is. Do you? I don't know. What's in the box? You know, I do that all the time. I probably should. That's probably not the best reference to use. <laughs> but I can't help it. That's all I think about it. <laughs> no, it's Unreal 2. It's not about 70 pounds. No, that's a, that was a different delivery from Lego. This is something else. We opened that one last week. This is unrelated. This is unrelated entirely. So okay, let's let me find get out. Knife. Now, you know, a lot of times we've already opened the box before. Um, Just because we can't be, wait. But, ne but now you're going to get a chance to see. We're going to open. Careful, there may be bleach on the bottom of it. Uh-oh. Okay. It's okay. It's just sweatpants. <laughs> see, we're casual. You see it around. around. With it. And then we'll tell you what it's for. Okay, careful. Yeah. Man. Watch your hand. Oh, it's oh, Lego. Oh, 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 it's a city set. I see. see. It says building toys. Oh, exciting. Check it out. Oh, fun. It's the ocean exploration ship from the city. Wait, uh, check it out. City set. National Geographic. The National Geographic. Yes, this is the National Geographic one. It's the one that comes with the big shark, which I'm excited about because we weren't able to get that one when we did it when we ordered our pieces and uh, another yeah. one of these guys. And a piece like what I wanted to make for our undersea challenge. Right. Another like little undersea rover. Okay, so just so you know, we are going to be putting this together on Wednesday. We are going to be putting yep. this on together on Wednesday. So Special. Lego has sent this to yes. us. Don't miss Wednesday's and show. We are going to show you a really cool new thing that Lego has been working on um, on Wednesday when we put together that set. So please make sure you join us on Wednesday for the um, for that. I would put it together today, but we don't have everything. We have like a special setup we're going to do for yep. uh, Wednesday's show. So we want to make sure that we have that all uh, together. So there you go. Gosh, um, we're so lucky with Lego. That was so fun. Oh, gosh. Yeah. That's so, Look at that. Sorry. Delivery. <laughs> Mail delivery. Mm. And who normally does that but Ms. Thing? Oh, yeah. wow. Her, her yeah, glamorous Ms. dots ring is, it must be in her house. Well, Ms. Thing's, that was a little heavy for her, I think. What, that ring? That bubble? Yes, bobble? but you know, she's we do, more practical than we that. We do have other viewer mail, but let's do, um, let's do, uh, Pins. Pins. Okay. Oh, I may have a rerun today. You know, you'll forgive me. Now, I'm not sure if this is. Um, I've actually never worn this one before, surprisingly. Um, but it's a little. It's a. It's an odd one. Maybe somebody can look it up and they can figure out what it is. But this is a little droopy flower, <laughs> like a droopy pink flower pen. Oops. Oh, it looks like almost from Fantasia. Yeah. It well, is it's either, not, it's, it's either from Fantasia, Peter Pan, or The Little Mermaid. I'm not sure. I'm guessing. I'm guessing. All right. Yeah. Well, that narrows it so down. Is this better? There you oh, go. Oh, look at that. Shark. You, you just got to go for it. I don't know. It's kind of fancy. Okay. Like I don't wearing know. If, wearing a boutonniere. I don't know if this will ever um, focus. This one today is not a pin, actually. I'm going to um, keep it in my pocket all day long. This is from those machines where you put a penny in and, you know, like $50. And then it gives you back a penny with an imprint on it. $50. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. A few, it's like a, a dollar. It's a few more it's cents, right? And we had just gone on... Um, we had just gone on um, the ta the new Tower of Terror. What is it? The Guardians, the Guardians of, the of the Galaxy ride, and this is right there. We're gonna there. Yeah, there That's you go. Rocket Raccoon it says Pet Roden. Little hero action there with Rocket Raccoon. That's awesome. Lucky Penny. <laughs> that was a fun trip, wasn't that a fun trip? Oh, uh, Wilfred says he would put the flower in the pet's hair. You know, you're right. I think you're right. It's a it needs a. Flynn, um, I um, I hate to do this, but I'm gonna have to step away for a moment. Oh, now you I know. can do wow, double I know double you bingo. Can step check away. Check out your bingo card. But the first time I brought mail back, right? There you go. Okay. All right. 
Yeah, I do think this Little Mermaid, I'm like, I'm fairly certain. Isn't it weird that you would, like, I would remember something that minute? I don't know, whatever. Anyway, yeah, so now the bat has a flower. And also, if you like this shirt, um, this is from the awesome, oh no, I can't believe, like, Will Heron, sorry, thank you. So many names running around in my head. Who did I say thank you to? Will Heron, awesome Will Heron. Check out his um, his t-shirts. He does lots of really, uh, really fun stuff. So um, let's see. Uh, <laughs> the bat can have 13 pieces of flair. It's true. Thank you, Jeff. <laughs> mm. Okay, so uh, what else have we got? Oh, yes, we have some viewer mail. Now, I don't know where Ms. Thing ended up. She's not in her, she's not in her usual place. Um, oh my goodness. This is unusual. She's, she is lagging. She's lagging on the job. I guess, um, Angela, Angela is going to have to, <laughs> this is so poorly done. Here, here we go. Oh, thank you, Angela. She's filling in today. Uh, Ms. Thing apparently was like mortified by her lack of sparkly jewelry and her sister took over that's fine all right so here we go i've got um letter here uh, exactly brickworm see the pants productions that's how we do it here it's like if Pee Wee herman had no money <laughs> um so this is from um from eric um aka hokey bricks um, it says, I know I've said it before, but I'll say it again. Thank you for being such amazing role models for us. You two set such an amazing example and show, uh, that queer couples can be happy and emotionally mature and vulnerable and complex and so much more than the sum of their labels. You two bring so much light and love into this world. And I am thankful for you both and Logan. Um, thank you for being you. Thank you, Eric. Thank you very much. Um, I really appreciate that. Um, and he included a couple of bases for us to, um, to sign and send back to him, uh, for the mini figs that he made of us. Um, so very nice. I'm going to send, we'll be signing those and sending those off. I'm sorry. Got me a little, got me a little choked up there. All right. Um, thank you, Eric. Um, thank you. Um, this is from... Xander, and Xander, as you know, is one of our uh, prolific builders. He has something in almost every build challenge. Um, he's doing the, um, uh, he is doing the, uh, the Bob series, the Bob with the time machine and the pizza. Like, that's the one that I, uh, that's the one that I remember, the one where he goes to the, the, the pizza. That's the first Bob. Um, so, he says, uh, Dear Flynn and Richard, thank you for giving me fun challenges every week. Enclosed are six medium azure tooth bricks. <laughs> he heard us talking about how much we liked the tooth bricks. Um, and I was wondering if you could send me a tricky lug brick. Thank you for keeping me building and learning new stuff about Lego. Sincerely, Xander. Yes, Xander, absolutely. I will send you a tricky lug brick. And I have your address now. And I know we have your dad's permission. Um, and yeah, absolutely, we'll send you one of those. Um, so check out, um, and he also did a little, he did a little illustration there of our minifigs. <laughs> I love it. I am, I'm so much, um, we have like a whole, you know, wall full of the art that people have made and sent to us. And it's so, um, it's so fun seeing everybody's interpretations and uh yeah really great so thank you xander so much say hi to your dad for me hey drake if you're watching um all right so let's see we've got that now uh we do have um we do have stickers but i'm gonna save those until richard's back because he did all of the um he did all the work on that um but until then, I guess we can get started working on um, Bill. Oh, no, wait, what am I saying? 
we're not going to get started working on building. We have a very special um, presentation. We are going to look at the videos that people sent in for Fab Max Furry Road. Before we start building, we're going to do that. Um, it's not, I mean, they're not super long. Um, oh, you like, um, you like the, my Old Bay coffee cup, Alex? I do too. It's, um, I'm from, uh, from Maryland, so I'm big into Old Bay. I can't believe you can't find that. Hmm. Brick by Brick Mox, are we still giving away that Monkey Kid set? We are. We were just talking about that. We're trying to get to 2,000 followers, or 2,000 subscribers to this show, and as soon as we do, uh, we will be doing that. We're already getting close to most of the way there. Close. Mm. All right, so videos. Let's see. Um, yes, Blair, I'm from Maryland, from Baltimore even. <laughs> so there you go. Um, uh, oh, don't don't worry about it, Brickinista. Don't remember that. Like nothing is embarrassing here. There is no embarrassing. This is um, we are free, open, uh, open arms, and there there is no embarrassing. Believe me, you cannot embarrass yourself any more than we do on a daily basis. <laughs> sitting here in front of you. <laughs> so there you go. Oh, and you know what? And I know I've been saying this for weeks, but I think today I'm finally going to do it. I'm going to do my first Twitch stream this afternoon, y'all. I'm going to I'm going to go for it. I've never I haven't um, thought about it. I mean, I mean, I haven't like committed, but today I'm committing to my um, first. I'm committing to my first one today. So you can um, sign on Twitchy Bricks. Oh, no. <laughs> um, Remy Baker, our Twitch stream channel is the same as this. It's uh, Tricky Bricks. Um, and you'll probably see a lot, you know, like all of the same, um, all of the same graphics and everything. It's going to basically look the same because that's what I have. I haven't made anything special. Um, but I do want to start make, I do want to start building the Hogwarts castle that um that y'all so kindly gave me for uh my birthday and i've been dying to put it together and i've been waiting to like do a twitch stream with it because it's gonna kind of be a long <laughs> it's gonna be a long build um so anyway i'm gonna try that out today later on this afternoon so we'll see maybe like i don't know when we get done with here maybe like two this afternoon on our on uh that's uh pacific time I don't know. We'll see. I'll, I'll send a little blast out on our community page here on YouTube if I decide to do that. Um, and then, but I don't want to like link to Twitch from YouTube. I don't know if you can do that. Hmm. Jeff, uh, Jeff, I'm going to probably, I'm going to put together this. Um, so a bunch of people from here on the stream all chipped in and got me the ginormous, gigantic Hogwarts castle, which is a part, um, uh, a set that I've wanted for a really long time. Eric, who sent the letter earlier, sent me a used copy of it that someone stole off my porch. And so everybody in the stream, the, a bunch of people in the stream chipped in and got me a copy that was delivered on my birthday during the show. It was amazing. Um, and I haven't been able to put it together. So that, um, and it's, it's, I think, too big for this particular stream. So we're going to be doing, uh, um, I will be doing like a, a thank you uh, stream about that. Don't worry, Holly, I will let you know. Um, yeah, so, so Twitch is definitely like a longer form show than we normally would do here. So you can kind of just, you know, mm, kind of move to Studio B, exactly. <laughs> well, like I said, we'll see how it works out. I've never done it before. I'm a little nervous. I'm assuming it's going to be the same, but, you know, it'll be, it'll be just me, not Richard, because he's got work. Uh, but I'm going to, I'm going to see what I can do. And I heard that there's like music that you can get for the background, which will be nice because who wants to, you know, be sitting here working with no music on? That's one of the things I really, um, I really don't like about uh, building. I wish we could have music in the background. We need some kind of music, but I'm not sure what the rules are about that. Hey Kim, that music thing that you turned me on to, can you also use that on YouTube? I'm just curious. Um, yeah. Uh, so, and then, so, you know, Brick and Nick, uh, who was on the Brick Trivia Showdown, 
is prolific Twitch streamer. He does a ton of stuff. Um, and we also, um, uh, let's see, what's, oh, uh, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry that you got stolen stuff in the mail. Yeah, sorry. I'm just, I'm, again, I'm dividing my attention. Um, anyway, um, we're gonna, I'm gonna try that out, uh, and see what that's like. So, there we go. I know, I don't have, unfortunately, I don't have the replacement Richard in, <laughs> in the thing here anymore. Uh, yeah, because it takes up a lot of room. But, let's see. Let's see what we got. So, is everybody ready? Should we watch these, these videos? Yeah. Um, let's see. Let's do that. Oh, YouTube has a whole studio of music in the studio space. Lots of good stuff you can download and play in the background. Oh, see, that's what we need to start doing. We need to start having music for the background um, underneath that. That'd be pretty cool, right? Hmm. Very cool. Oh, Adam's family in October on Halloween. Yes, don't forget, everybody. October's coming up. It's right around the corner. Just a few more days. And all of our challenges in October are all going to be Halloween-themed, Halloween-based. So uh, be ready for that. All right. Um, okay, Moto, I'll check, I'll definitely check the, the volume on yours. Now, this is going to be, I've never done this before, like done like a video slideshow. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> um, and also I, um, I cannot hear the audio. So I figured out that there was, um, feedback coming back into the, into the microphone, uh, from the speakers that we were trying to listen to as a monitor. So I'm not going to actually be able to hear the, um, the sound on these. So if I cut something off accidentally, let me know. Uh, but I'm going to do my best here. All right. So let's see. We are going to go here. I have, a, I have a list here. Oh, see, it's already started. So this is Avernus Workshop. <laughs> this is, um, this is uh, yeah, Avernus Workshop. And we will, let's run that one again because it's uh, it was a it's a quick one. But this was his um, wheelbar er, wheelbarrow windmill made with the pieces of um, like the like the the pieces of cars and all kinds of cool stuff. So and I love the double the double rotation, really really cool. All right, next up we have Brickanista. And this is uh, this is Brickinista's uh, gyrocopter, and we're seeing that that you can crank it and turn the thing. I think that's really great. See, I love stuff like this. I love. I mean, I just, I love when people go and use those little extra things that you might not see. Very cool. All right. Um, let's see. We are. Let me see if I can uh, fix this there we go um okay this is gonna be this is cornado and this was his party bus and i love the i love the flashing lights especially the skull uh the skull flashing lights at the bottom is so good like really 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 fun <laughs> awesome thank you cornado um there we go so this next one, this is from Fabu Fan MKE, and this is like the long layout of all of his, um, all of his cars in battle. <laughs> Very cool, love it, awesome. Thank you. This okay. So now this one is from Yano, you know, Femme from the Block. I did have a little. I did have. A hand in this although you probably won't be able to tell but <laughs> let's take a look at Yano's <laughs> While the rest of Fabuland had gone to heck on a hand truck, down in the valley was the last bastion of civility. The intrepid bulldogs who had once kept order in this fair city <laughs> were determined to hold on to whatever shred of authority they had left. Even though their police and fire stations were in ruins, even though their valley was used as a dumping ground. 
even though they were often targets of theft by gangs of unruly hooligans. posting that on on the website so that you can go and look at uh, look that up anytime wow i think that was wow yes and i love the guy um swatting the spider with the um with the spatula because you know in the on lego masters we did the um uh, we did our mega city build and we had, you know, the attack of the spiders and there was a lady with a hairbrush that was fighting the spiders. It was so good. So good. <clears throat> All right. So now we have another epic, um, another epic film coming up now. Moto. Okay. So as we all know, Moto does not do anything small. So this is like 4k extra HD burn your eyeballs. Um, with the sharpness of them. <laughs> All right, here we go with Moto's video. Another brilliant entry. These are all amazing. Yano, yes, you can still, there's still time to enter. Unfortunately, I think you missed the, um, like the trophy, like being able to be eligible for a trophy. Although maybe it's a, so amazing. I think they should reconsider that rule and allow you to enter that for a trophy because, oh my goodness. And also Moto, like if you didn't do that in the brick films, you need to because it was like... <laughs> It was like a crazy, it was like a car. Um, it was um, like a car commercial. It was so good. And that, um, and of course, when you showed us yesterday how you, um, how you do that, it was amazing. Um, okay, so this is Rob Zaccardi. And this is his layout here.
right. Well, that was that was epic. That was like our we we had our first um like film festival. That was like the first official Tricky Bricks film festival. I think we need to do that again. I think we need to do that again. Okay, you guys. Now I am not I am not saying anything like like all of the builds were amazing. All the videos were amazing, but I think we need to watch Yano's again. What do y'all think? I think that needs an encore. <laughs> I think we need an encore performance. Of, oh my goodness, it's showing everything. I'm gonna... Oh, see, I'm just clicking randomly all over everywhere. Yes, okay, give me one second. Give me one second and I will get us that, um, I will get that uh, fixed up here. It's gonna take me a second to. I've got to turn everything off. Yeah, that setting that up was was tricky. I gotta say that's why we're tricky lugs. Okay, so let's see if we can get this to work. All right, here we go. While the rest of Fabuland had gone to heck on a hand truck, down in the valley was the last bastion of civility. The intrepid bulldogs who had once kept order in this fair city were determined to hold on to whatever shred of authority they had left. Even though their police and fire stations were in ruins, even though their valley was used as a dumping ground. Even though they were often targets of theft by gangs of unruly hooligans. You know, we don't, you, it's never really a, it's never a contest here, like with the builds and stuff like that. But I gotta say, I think we could all agree that that is declared the winner of, <laughs> of Fab Max Furry Road collaboration. That was amazing. I think, yeah. So Peter Hornberger was saying that he was going to find a, um, he was going to find a, um, a trophy for Yano if if um, BrickCon didn't find one, and I'm just like, yeah, I agree. <laughs> it's just really amazing. Oh, that was so good. Oh, that was so good. Very fun. Very fun. Um, yes, thank you uh, so much, Yano, for that, and thanks to everybody for um, all of the fantastic videos and, and images. And I mean, I sent BrickCon over, I think like 130 images. Um, really cool. Yeah. Let's see. Um, oh, I like that. You know what? Maybe we'll do that for next, the following one, um, Brickworm. I like that idea, but maybe we'll do that. Let's just do that for the following one. <laughs> it's just so good. Um, all right. Well, that was that was our, our epic first film festival. <laughs> um, and I hope that everybody had um, I hope that everybody had a good time building on that. That was a fun theme. We definitely want to do another collaborative build with everybody, uh, maybe for um, uh, Bricks LA in January. We'll see how that goes. 
Um, I think that would be, uh, I, I think that would be really, uh, really a fun thing to do. We just have to figure out another collaboration, but I think this one worked really, uh, this one worked out really well for, for everybody. Um, Blair, I have not gotten your files yet, but I was, um, most of my morning is usually getting ready, setting up for the show. So I haven't checked, e I didn't usually check email till after the shows on Monday, but I'll definitely, um, I'll definitely check it out. And, um. Yano, I would love to let's talk about that video because definitely we're gonna put it up on the website and um, uh, we definitely want people to check that out. Oh my goodness! Um, all right, so bookshop, y'all. We're actually gonna get to it now. Um, <laughs> um, <clears throat> Uncle Mike TD is asking. I'm hoping to find some coral Lego pieces for my uh, coral Lego pieces for. Um, Oh, no, that was the wrong one. <laughs> coral. We haven't seen him in a while. You're looking for coral pieces. Um, if you want to find those um, pieces, you can check out Bricklink. You can search by color. Um, you might also want to look for a set that was um, uh, that includes some coral, some coral pieces. I know that uh, um, some of the Lego Movie Two ones that are on sale right now uh, definitely have that. So you could you could check that out. Coral. It's been a while. It's been a while since we saw we saw coral. Oh, the deep sea coral. Uh, you're talking about like not the color. You're talking about the other thing. But yes. Um. Uh. Same. The same thing. Um. And if you're looking for the actual pieces, then you're gonna have to look for the Friends Ocean sets. Those included tons of those. So um, you can you can definitely check those uh, you can check those out. They are you know they should still be available because they um, they well yeah they should still be available especially since the, the since the stores were closed for a while I don't know where you live but you can check those out. Um, all right, so let's get back to or to not back because we haven't, can you go back to somewhere you haven't been yet I don't know it seems like a very Alice in Wonderland thing to talk about. Um, <laughs> see, I'm getting used to what it's going to be like on Twitch later today when I don't have anybody to talk to and I just have to blather on for forever. Um, let's see. Oh, speaking hi. of. Hi. Yeah, my call dropped. We're... Okay. Hi, everyone. I'm sorry I had to be away today. <laughs> Meetings. All right. I hope to be back. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. So, um, yeah, let's just, and, you know, I got to show you, this is one of the things I'm loving about this is this these all these nougat bricks are so awesome um all right i'm gonna get my i have my um got my bowls out here i've got my handy dandy instructions magazine um and and oh yes and speaking of don't forget everybody to um to make sure that you check out wednesday's show where we're gonna put together that awesome, um, this awesome ocean exploration ship, and we're going to talk to you a little bit about something that Lego's working on um, that's really cool. So make sure and check out Wednesday when we're gonna put this together. So we'll, so Wednesday we'll take a little break from putting the bookshop together. We'll come back to it because this one has been very popular. People are really excited about this particular one. Um, so yeah, there you go. Um, I have a Lego octopus and a hammerhead head shark, actually both. So there you go. Um, yeah, the hammerhead shark is really great, but I'm, I love that this is the giant thing. Monica, yes, we, they, um, Lego sent us a set, uh, to put together so that we could show some, uh, a really cool pro uh, th thing that they're working on. I don't want to give it away. You'll have to come and check it out on Wednesday and see uh, see how that uh, what that's all about. All right, but it looks like I'm um, building up here. Let's go down to the um, to the down camera. There you go. All right, so I've got my bowls, I got my instructions, and I'm trying to figure out where I left off. So I've been doing some building um, off camera, and you can see here that I've done. Uh, most of the first floor, and uh, we did the outside on the show the other day, um, and now I'm working on the like the the, the uh, second floor landing, 
or is it called the is it the first floor landing? I don't know, but I love that it, in, it includes a little mini bookshelf. I mean, if you if you've ever shopped at um, if you've ever done a lot of shopping at those at kind of used bookstores, they always have them crammed like you know bookshelves every on every surface. As a matter of fact, I might like to make an even taller bookshelf for this, or maybe it is taller. I haven't built that part yet, so maybe I shouldn't say that until I've actually done the whole thing. So. Well, let me get this out of the way. And it looks like I'm going to be building some stairs here. Um, we're using, it looks like a lot of brown inverse slopes. And, oh gosh. It's a constant battle. <laughs> the battle of the glasses. Do I wear them? Do I not wear them? Can I see? Can I not see? Um, let's see. Oh, the Monster Fighter Castle is so awesome. It is one of my favorite sets. Um, here we go. Here. And yeah, so this is basically... We're basically here building up some little stairs. Using inverse slopes and regular size slope. This... And another tile here for the carpet. I love the fact that they've chosen to use green carpet. It just seems so, it's just, it's just a perfect, it's perfect. Um, is that correct? Yeah. All right. So I've built this little, here, and I'm going to switch to this camera here. Uh, let's see. I think this is probably, whoops. Whoa, that's a little too close. There we go. Um, so you can see there's the little the little extra stairs there going up to the second floor and i'm going to use um a series of telescopes and this is one of my favorite pieces a series of telescopes um here and then a tile where is that tile i just had the tile oh there it is all right, there we go. There's our little there's our little stairs, and it does get a couple more a couple more things on it. But before we do that, it is that certain special time of the day. Now I need to usually I have you know I have Richard here helping, um, but this is going to be so I have sorry. Give me a second to arrange I have to arrange the studio for our impending special guest. <laughs> right. That's right, everybody. It's Logan cookie time, and here he is. Hi, Logan. It's time. It's your special time of the day. Here we go. Yes, very good. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks for liking the stream. Here you go. Can I? I'm always bad at this. I can't make him catch it. He did it. <laughs> he did it. All right, Logan. Really? You done already? Come on. Let's look over here. Look at the camera. Say hi to everybody. And... The sound of happiness. Very good, Logan. Logan cookie time. All right. <laughs> All right, let's see. Mm. All right. Logan, Logan is a cookie monster, it's true. All right, so we are going to get back to this now. We were working on the um, on that little stairwell, or the little second floor stairs. Now, see, I went, I had to like clean everything up. If you don't, it's a, it can be a nightmare. All right, so here's that little second floor. We're gonna add a couple more pieces onto it. Um, let's see. I see that there's a tile, and they're asking for another. Um, more inverse slopes. Oh, did I do this right? Yep, there it is. Here. And then it's going to get a 1x4 brown brick, which I must confess. Hmm. I don't see at the moment, but of course, it's always 
It's always like hiding underneath something, right? Oh, there you go. Bingo. Lost a piece. There it is. Like that. We're going to do a finish it off with a tile. And then we're going to finish that off with one more green, uh, one more green tile. So there you go. I've got my little stairs and that is going to fit in right here. So you can see that we built some, whoops, sorry. You can see that we built some inverse slopes into the wall way down here. Um, and that is going to fit our little plate here. Like this. And of course we can see that these, uh, the stairs of course perfectly meet the floor here and are even with this. All right. Oh, was that the first time I ever did look in cookie time alone? No, no, definitely not. I've definitely done it alone before. I would say that was one of the more successful <laughs> of me doing it alone. Um, I've, there've been some, yeah, there've been some not so great <laughs> attempts <laughs> to say that. Um, Okay, so it is asking for a one by two tile, one by two brown tile. It's always so hard to tell the difference between the plates and the tiles if they flip upside down, except for the, the tiles don't have that little circle. But when you're going through a bunch of pieces, hmm, this isn't as organized as it usually is, probably because I did it. But I don't see any, I don't see that tile, and it's going to bug me if I don't get it. So I'm going to just head on back over to the collection. Um, rolling. And I fortunately have about a gazillion, now watch that, I'm going to say, I have a gazillion 1x2 brown tiles, and then I'm going to go in here, and I'm not going to be able to find one. And then that'll be embarrassing. <laughs> See, Brick and East, I was telling you, there's no way you can embarrass yourself more than than we do uh, to ourselves on a regular basis. Um, all right, I'm going to go ahead and grab these. Dun, 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 dun. All right. And put that on. Okay, now we have that on. Now we're going to start working on the next floor. And we're going to be using these bigger plates, these two. Um, and we're also going to be using, there we go. Hey, Kai's Monkey Lego, how's it going? Welcome. Um, so glad to see you. See you on on um, on the Twitter all the time. So very very cool. Good to see ya. Doing good. All right. Um, let's see. We are just getting the working on the bookshop today. It was one of the amazing sets that Lego sent us as a thank you for doing Lego Masters, which was I gotta say much much appreciated. Um, so Lego, if you're listening. Thank you from me and from all of us. I know everybody was very excited. And I actually saw that some of the other Lego Masters from some of the uh, from some other countries also got boxes, um, which is really exciting. It was like we have one more thing that bonds us together, this kind of like... Um, I think it would be... Wouldn't it be fun to do a live stream where we got as many people as we could from Lego Masters from around the world to get together and do like a build together on like live. It would be really fun. Like we all work on the same build. I think that would be such a blast. Um, all right. Hey, Xander, how's it going? We got, we read your uh, viewer mail earlier. Thank you so much. And yes, we're going to send you that tricky lug brick. Um, so yeah, later on, if you want to go back and uh, check out earlier in the video, you can see where we, um, uh, that we went over that and said, so thank you. Um, okay. We are, you know, we're working with a lot of gray here. So this is seeing exactly where the parts go for old people like me. It's a little, okay. There. 
and we're looking for another gray one by four. Here we go. That's going to go underneath. All right. Then we're going to attach. I wonder if this. No, this doesn't look right. I feel like. So oh, that's because I dis I put this off one stud because I put it on upside down. There we go. Fits like this. And then um, here we go. So yeah, you guys, I can't believe I'm go I'm gonna do this Twitch thing later. I feel like um, it's gonna be like end up being like one of those joke those joke things where they're like, "This old grandpa is on Twitter and everyone thinks he's hilarious." <laughs> um, you know, there's like all those. There's always those like grandmas who like get five gazillion followers because they like showed off the whatever their three years perfect score animal crossing town or they cook amazing things or are just hilarious in general <laughs> i guess i should hope to be as popular as one of them <laughs> oh my goodness Oh, you're on a live stream tonight um, with Bricks Toys. Oh, awesome. What? When is that? We'll go check it out. It would be awesome to uh, see 11 p.m. UK time. Oh, I don't know what time that is here. <laughs> you better see me break dancing. See, that's the thing. All right, I got to say, that is the thing that has kept me from Twitch all this whole time. Because the first, the first Twitch stream I ever saw was Brick and Nick, who's amazing. You saw him. He was here, you know, he was here on the show um, doing the Brick Trivia Showdown. He is a very energetic guy. Um, and so I went and checked out his, his uh, stream. And it was so, like, he had so much energy. Like, I mean, I suppose I had that much energy when I was 20-whatever. Um but I don't quite have that kind of energy anymore. And I was watching and he's doing stuff like, um, you know, like every time somebody subscribes to the channel, he like does a dance and then there's like crazy music and he puts crazy glasses on. And I was just like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready for the, to do like a whole like circus sideshow. <laughs> and, and I thought I would just look foolish. <laughs> um, Yes, uh, uh, guys, monkey. Yes, absolutely. Um, send me a message on Twitter. That's that's awesome. Um, <clears throat> oh, he's very, he's great. I love his energy so much. Um, yeah, he's really, really fun. He just celebrated his birthday. He's twenty eight. Okay, there you go. There you go. Three p.m. Pacific time. All right. Well, if I'm, I will. Um, I'm probably going to be streaming on Twitch then, but because. Um, I'm going to try to be a modern grandpa. I'll try and see if I can't, like, tune in, like, on my phone or something while... <laughs> I mean, pulling double duty. I don't know. <clears throat> I have no what I'm... I have no idea what I'm doing. In case you haven't figured that out yet. All right, so we're building, um, these little... We're building some nice little details on here. And I guess I could go to the even more close-up cam. Um, there's like a super close-up cam. There we go. Um, it's just kind of fuzzy. I never like the way it looks. I think it kind of looks a little, um, how's that? Is that a little bit better? Yeah, that's a little bit better. Um, but you can see now I'm adding in a whole series of jump plates, four jump plates. And then, but yeah, so anyway, that's kind of the reason I was all like, I don't know, Twitch. But then I saw like, and you know, and even in like Crystal stream is very much, I mean, it's a chiller atmosphere, but she has her whole like routine that she does when people get new subscriptions and stuff. And I was like, oh man, I just don't know if I can do that. Um, and then I saw um, Kim, Zarekino's stream, and she was just like so mellow and relaxed. And I was like, oh, you know, maybe I could... Maybe I could do this. <laughs> it wouldn't be too horrible. <laughs> Wilfred. 
Um, here we go. So that's what I, this is what I'm filling in here. And these awesome one by one, uh, like with the little rounded sort of like tombstone shape. Um, I uh, think these are gorgeous. They're so cool. Um, all right, let's see if I can find any more. I'm looking for tiles and one by twos. And I don't see, here's the one by two. It's the tiles that I'm having trouble with. Let's see. Oh, here they are. Tile, tile. And then we're just looking. Oh, hi. Hi. How are you? Good. <laughs> All right. I can be here for <clears throat> a few minutes, but I thought I would just pop in and say hi and maybe make a mess of what you've nulled out here. That, that would be awesome. Okay. Oh, you I guess bowled out more than anything. Yeah. There's. A, well, I mean, this is, you did this, actually. This is all oh, from, I thought I liked all it. from you. <laughs> anyway. Right. Oh, um, look, we're going to have more of that. Um, yeah, we're working on the second floor. Spiral now. staircase. All right, so there is... Okay, so there's my second floor. It's Hi got the, the little the little fences on it. All right. Yeah, Kim's stream is super mellow. It's very. Yep. I'm hoping to. I'm hoping that that's what mine will be like. I want like a very Bob Ross I, style. I, then you need squirrels. There, there's plenty like ha outside. Happy little tame <laughs> squirrels. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Yeah, we enjoyed we enjoyed doing Lego Masters a lot. It was an intense experience. It was, um, but it was a big adventure, too, right? It was. It was a super big adventure, and one that, you know, while sometimes stressful, was ultimately, I think, really rewarding. When we had fun with the other contestants, too. Yep. I will still stand by that as the, like, the thing that I took away from... Except that, that. Boone Langston. He's the worst. <gasps> oh no, my I'm, goodness! I'm, I'm kidding. He's awesome. <laughs> he was a total blast. And we used to watch The Mandalorian in his room. Like every week. Yeah, he's the furthest yeah. thing from the worst. No, he's awesome. He's a wonderful guy. Um, we, love, we love Boone. Okay, let's see. I'm looking for some more one by one uh, gray cubes. Okay. And how many? A couple more. Two. And a couple more of these little like these? pyramids. Here, I'm going to take a wild guess and say they go there. That's correct. And then we get a pyramid and a pyramid. Yeah, you know, I haven't I haven't heard from um Oh, no, it goes there. Oh, I haven't heard from Amy in a little while. I need to text her and be like, "Hey, girl, what's up?" Amy DD. All right. So, um there Oops. is there should be a remaining telescope. I see a remaining telescope. And there should be two round Ooh, we have an extra. There should be two brown round 2 by 2 plates. Got them. A coffee cup, and then one of those awesome. Um, oh, and then a round black uh, jump plate. Look at that. All right. Fingers flying. Now we're moving. <laughs> All right, so these are the little bases for the chair. Logan, I love costume these. time. I love Brickworm. These. I love that idea. I love that. Flynn, how much do I love costumes for Logan? Flynn accepted one thing for Logan, and that was a sweater with a big skull on it. It was a black sweater with a big skull on the back. But Logan isn't so into He doesn't outfits. like having clothes he likes on. It, he doesn't mind his raincoat, because he likes going out in the rain. <laughs> we have a raincoat oh, for yeah. him. And a backpack, too. He has a backpack. All right, so we put a little... If there's a little table and chairs out here, and just so you know, they did utilize putting i've actually um, had people ask this before like can you put something in between absolutely these you know a single stud will fit in between the studs we have permission right so there. that you can get center placement if you don't have a jumper plate there you go um and then a little coffee cup i wonder if there was controversy at the office about that if they were like we can't do that <laughs> okay well yes we can <laughs> Emails back and forth. Yes, yes. <laughs> Lego hears from us the, regularly. The, the, no, I mean between the designers, like the telescope fiasco of 2020. Like, is it acceptable to put it between the studs? Um, okay, how about a one yes. by one this nougat. color uh, plate? What is it? Is it nougat? You know, I've given up trying oh, to wait, figure out plate. what they're all called. Here's a plate. 
No, that's, that's gold. That's a different yeah, color. Yeah, I think these are extra pieces from one of the other Oh, there's bits. your plate over there. Oh, you have right. it. All right. Yeah, I have to say, it is a little hard to tell, at least in our lighting, the difference between the gold plate and the nougat plate. They're yeah. very similar um, in, like, if not shade. And what do you call that color value? Uh, hue. Well, hue and value, they're different things, right? Yeah. Is it saturation? No, yeah, they just have a similar look to them. And we're going to leave this. All right, I'm just going to stop blabbing about stuff. I have All no right. clue what I'm talking about. Not well, that that's will, ever stopped me before. <laughs> I will freely use sciency words and later take them back. I love the, I mean, I love how much that they put in a small, in a small space. But I always, always also laugh because like a regular minifigure could not actually fit no. in here. To like be no, deep. a mini doll's shoes would barely fit in there. <laughs> I mean, you can fit, you can fit Oh no, on, I spilled the coffee. But he's, he's pretty, like... He's right on top of it. It's a suggestion of a space. But that's what's so brilliant about it. I love that it's um, that they have that. Well, we made when we made our our theater, it was much bigger minifig scale, right? Some of these yeah. are like mini minifig scale. Well, we have that. You know, we have the ability to be able to just keep expanding if we need to, which is exactly yeah. what happened with that. Okay, so well, we'll... It's just to me, it's a matter of how much room you have around, around your door, right? If you have a door that fits a mini fig, it's mini fig scale. All right, so we need a brown dot. There um, we go. We got a lot of them. Four of them. quarter uh, macaroni tiles in green, like yeah, olive green. I can put these on camera. We're looking for a one by two. And we're looking for two of these, like, corner, cut-off corner tiles in gray. Very good. All right, so one goes here. I love these little cut-off corner tiles. Are so, I love all of these new, I mean, I know this isn't a new piece, but these newer ones where they've, <coughs> you know, tried to break the square, so yep. if, if you will. You know, Flynn, I hate to do it, but I'm feeling this pull. I'm feeling this pull to some what, emails. What, to actually work? Well, yeah, I have <laughs> some I have some information I need to find and emails okay. to send, so well, I want to be good about that. We all appreciate you stopping by. Thank well, I'm you. glad I was able to come back and um, pull a few bricks for you and mess things up some. <laughs> all right, everyone, it. have a good morning. Keep it casual. Happy building. All right. High stress environment around here. Yeah, I guess but like between this and the Twitch thing, I'll be doing a lot of building. You will be alone today, so oh, I better no. get good at talking to myself. No, I'll come in and high fresh. Good thing I'm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm really. Um, I gotta say, so and I know I mentioned this before, but the Ninjago City will always be my kind of go-to favorite set to actually build. It was just such a fascinating build, and I, I know, I'm sure they will come up with something that will make me reconsider that at some point. Um, but that said, this is a delightful build. And while there are, you know, there are some, you know, like just building walls or whatever, it's the detail portions, and they do a really good job of mixing up the, the wall building part and the detail part to keep it interesting, right? So there you go. Um, my card has a solid row of Richard has to leave combined with the free space of Logan Cookie Time. <laughs> hey, Debbie Shep Bricks, welcome. So good to see you. <coughs> um, let's see. Oh my God, look at that. Oh, hugs. No, I miss hugs. I have to say. I mean, they are very 2019, but I miss them. Um, let's see. All right. Uh, yeah, bright purple and bright red violet are can be difficult unless they're like right in a in something with other something with other things in it. Is what I what I do with those. Okay. Back to building. We are in the we are in the wall portion of the build. And I I mean I I gotta tell you I love um. I love Kim's setup. I think we talked about this the other day, but she has. A little window that has the instructions uh, in it, uh, and I think that's really fun to be able to follow along. Um, I'd like to try something like that on here. I'll have to see how 
um, how I can maybe set that up. Um, but that's that's pretty cool. I know, I thought we were fancy because we had two cameras, and then I go and see her stream, and she's got, like, the instructions up. I was like, oh, man, why didn't I think about that? That's why I like seeing other people's streams, getting ideas, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, Deppy Shep Bricks, you should check out. Um, Deppy has a channel as well. Um, you should check out their stuff as well. That's a fun, it's a fun channel. Um, always like to have more, more streamers to know about. Okay, so it looks like we are working on stairs. Uh, some more of these awesome stairs. I am a big fan of this, of these stairs, I gotta say. Um, so it's these funny little rounded ones that have these like rounded plates with an axle hole in the middle. Then it, each one gets a, um, and if you saw this building the other day, then you probably already saw this, but each one gets a tile. And um, also one of these rounded uh, tiles at the end. It's such a beautiful shape. I love the rounded. It's, it really makes such a difference. Um, and really clean, you know, it's, it's very elegant, I think. Um, and then we, sw we flip these over and they, three of them anyway, get a, um, a, a round plate on the bottom. And that's what keeps, like when you actually stack these up here, I'll show you. So these stack up this way, like this. So you're able to create this little fan of steps and then these plates keep them from being able to close all the way, right? I love that. Uh, okay, so it looks like we are going to add our stairs over here, which are gonna, I'm assuming, take us up to our third floor. Go. Yeah. Whoa. Oops. So there you go. A little balcony with the tables and chairs, more stairs, and I love this little rug. I think it's so cute. Um, oh, okay. We're going to do a little chair build here. All right. So if you want to see how to make a cool Lego chair, this is going to be a great little, uh, a little build uh, to check out. Um, Oh, right. I was going to close up the camera a little bit further for the super, super close up cam. So we can see how this chair is made because I think you will find this interesting. All right. So first things first, I'm going to gather up all the pieces that I need. Um, if I was still in baking school, they would call this mise en place. <laughs> getting all of your getting all of your pieces uh, out and ready before you start building. It's so funny. I used to stress that with my students um, a lot, uh, and then I sometimes don't always do it myself. <laughs> I just kind of like grab for pieces. Um, okay, so we got a couple of these awesome corner uh, corner snot pieces. Okay, so two of those, two of those, one of those, two of those. I've got two of these. I've got one of these uh, these plates that just has. Oh, bummer! See, that's what happens. My big, my big sweaty arms. Hopefully, there's uh, <laughs> there didn't anything go too far. Um, all right, and then I'm looking for a two by three brown uh, plate and two one by two black tiles and seven a lot of pieces in this little tiny chair build seven of these little uh rounded tombstone pieces all right let's learn how to make a chair all right so i'm gonna put uh i'm gonna start off with a two by three i'm gonna put a rocker hinge one of these little we call them rocker hinges um, then I'm going to put, 
put in two, guess what, I didn't get all my pieces, haha, -ha. two snot pieces facing outward, like that. We're gonna do, and then the two corner snots. So now I have snot all the way on three sides, and then this little hinge for the rocker hinge here. <clears throat> all right, now I'm gonna stack these three and I'm gonna put uh, these two by, I'm sorry, one by three bricks. And then I'm gonna put those rounded tombstones. These such, do such a great job of just rounding out um, the bricks and like a one by brick. So because usually you have to at least go three or four if you wanna round it off. Um, and then we're gonna put the, the actual rocker part of the hinge like that. And then this is gonna go on um, oh, wait a minute. Oh, I see. Look at that. I went, I went too far. We're gonna put this is the this is the seat that little one with the plate. And this is supposed to. I don't understand how this is supposed to. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. So check it out. The hinge here actually has holes in the studs. And those they do accept the little posts, so you can get it right in the middle, like that. Oh, I guess it would help if I. There we go. All right, so now we have this sort of reclining, like chair back. All right. Then, oh, check this out. So I'm going to take a a snot up hang, with a tile on the top of it with a plate on the side of it like that and then some more of those tombstones to have a nice little rounded side and make another one of those and do that and these are gonna go here and here so there you go there's your little chair and we're gonna put a final tile it looks like oh I see it wants you to put the tile on after you actually put it on here so here's your here's your chair um, like this Is that right? I think maybe it goes over one more. Ooh, I'll tell you, once it's on, it's really on there. <laughs> and then you finally, you put this little tile, black tile across the front. So there you go. Little chair with the reclining back. You can go back a little bit. And the rug. It's really great. Really fantastic. Um, Joshua Steele, you're going to send us a letter in the snail mail. Awesome. Please do. Yeah. Yeah, that's a really good, um, it's a really good chair. All right. So there you go. That was, there was your little instruction on a Lego chair. And now we're going to put together an awesome lamp and a table, it looks like. All right. So one of these... So this is what I'm talking about, how I like how they break up the, um, they break up the different things that you have to build so that it doesn't become too much, or like too much wall building or whatever. Um, here we have another coffee cup because of course, um, and then we're going to make this awesome little lamp using these pieces. So it's going to be a gold clip. Um, a clear, a trans clear dome, two by two dome, this little funny thing that I never actually know what it's called and another telescope, telescopes. So jumper plate, telescope, funny little arm thing that I don't know what it's called. Um, 
the clip, and then finally the dome. And there you go, a little floor lamp. Very cute, very, very cute. And that is gonna go right here. And then you can just sort of swing this around to you know, face whatever direction. I love this, I think it's a, what a beautiful little simple, well that chair wasn't so simple actually, but uh, <laughs> it's really, yeah, it's really cute. All right, see, so there we go. So we built up t t to here, and now we're gonna go back and continue building up the um, the sides. Now also too, this is a little bit, while it, it's it's great that it also breaks up, you know, the the wall building a little bit, this is also, it's also a little bit of utility, right? Because um, if you, you know, you kind of build everything up to one level and then you kind of build it up and then build everything so that everything's constantly at the same level um, as you go. Um, wow, that didn't, did, oh, that's why. Uh -huh. Oh, wait. <laughs> I'm going, I'm going to, I'm going past instructions. It's easy to get mixed up, I gotta say. Um, but hopefully, you know, don't, don't go too far astray. There we go. It looks like I'm leaving a space here, probably for another window, I'm going to guess. And long pieces and cubes. All right, now more, more walls, more walls, more walls. This is what you come here for, right? <laughs> the walls, we watch the building. Uh, all right. Yeah, so I hope everybody is registered for, um, or you've got your ticket for BrickCon for this weekend. There's still tickets for sale, so make sure you, uh, Get that, it's five bucks, uh, and you will be able to go in um, uh, like on a public ticket and see all of the stuff that people are putting out, including the Fab Max stuff. Um, so you're definitely gonna wanna check that out. Um, there is um, a, another kind of, uh, what do you call it? Like ticket that you can buy that will that gives you more access to the backstage stuff or like you know the the actual convention part of it and that's up to you whether you want to do that's twenty five dollars um, if you want to do that or not but you can see the you will be able to see the collaboration just on the public ticket if that's what you want to do um, and there's going to be uh, Lego Masters are going to be there doing a public uh, a public room so. There we go. Uh, oh yeah, Super Justice, uh, ba Super Baby Justice League will be there also. There's also going to be a collaboration from the Women's Brick Initiative um, for um, uh, the quilts. Sorry, Brickworm is heading that up. The quilt squares. It looks amazing from what I've seen so far. Um, and golly, what else? Uh, I mean, you know. All amazing. Oh, Holly is doing an international meet and greet. Uh, although that is just on the, um, you would have to buy a convention goer ticket for that one. That one won't be included, I believe, in in public, uh, the public ticket. Um, she might be able to elaborate. Um, oh, cheap brick geek, you've got a few builds in there. Awesome, awesome. Uh, uh, Kai's Monkey, are we planning a trip to the UK? Yes, actually. Um, so I know everybody, it's old hat for everybody who's been here. Uh, but we are actually, we're, this year we were meant to be right now, um, finishing up at, in Billund, because Richard and I are going to be showing in the Masterpiece Gallery at the Lego House. Um, and we, um, because of, um, COVID, we ended up, that ended up getting pushed off until next year. Um, but we will be there next year. And Richard, over this time, has saved up so much vacation time that we are planning on doing a little sort of mini European tour, um, while we're there. 
So, and, and the UK is definitely one of the places that we're going to go. Um, we have uh, people there that we want to be able to see and stuff. So, yeah, absolutely. Um, let's see. Joshua Still, there's a book called The Lego Neighborhood Book. Oh, yeah, that Lego Neighborhood Book is awesome, by the way. That was like an early, an early one that we got. It's a fantastic one. Um, yes, Disneyland Paris. Mini fig chick. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. And hey, Christopher Coster, how's it going? Yeah, it'll be, it's going to be really fun. That's going to be a fun trip. I can't wait for that. And, you know, our, our good friend Gwyneth Co um, Cosbial is, um, is going to be there also showing off her, um, her Lego Beatles album covers, which are amazing. Uh, and yeah, it's just going to be a fun trip all around. I'm really, um, really looking forward to that and including in the little, our little Euro tour, um, however that ends up working out, but definitely that is in the plans. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Definitely. Definitely. We will, um, I will definitely let everybody know when that's going to happen and maybe we could do, you know, I mean, what I'm hoping is, um, uh, at least on the you know here on the north american side is that we might be able to eventually do a um like all as many tricky lug members as could can do it would meet up at one of the conventions and we would have our own little like tricky con <laughs> like mini tricky con as part of a bigger con um like maybe bricks by the bay next year or something like that <laughs> oh my goodness Oh, you're waiting for series three. Yeah, you should. That's it's a it's a great experience. Intense, but great. Definitely. And good luck. Um, Joshua Steele, uh, I have my own clicky and coming to the Great Lakes anytime soon. Oh, my goodness. I don't know about the Great Lakes area. I'm not sure if we would be coming out there soon or not. Um, we're not going to be going anywhere for the foreseeable future. Um, <clears throat> but that said, uh, we definitely are, you know, this year was supposed to be our year where we went around and, you know, went to a lot of conventions and that didn't work out. So hopefully we can put that off for this, you know, until this next year when no one will remember who we are. <laughs> I know I joke about that with Richard. I'm like, we're going to go to, the, after this is all over, we're going to go to these conventions. People are gonna be like, who are you? Why are you even here? <laughs> all right. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. All right, I think I've got. Ooh, I'm missing one brown, one by one round, which probably disappeared when it got stuck to my arm, <laughs> and um, and fell off onto the floor somewhere. Uh, oh, and there it is. Okay, now we're gonna make some more lovely stairs. <laughs> Holly, no one says that at the con. Well, I mean, you know, I'm just talking about like if it was like Brick um, Brick's Cascade, where we were, you know, we had to sit there and um, be at a table or whatever. I just imagine us being at a table, and then people are like, "What the who?" <laughs> uh, anyway, all right, so more stairs. More stairs. I am in love with these stairs. I will say it again. I'm in love with these stairs. And if we were on... Yeah. Yes, I'm in love with these stairs. Check it out. Really great feature. Beautiful. All right. Okay, now we are going to do some, it looks like we're making a landing. We're gonna get, whoa, I will say that lamp is very easy to, um... oh no, Richard and Logan do not lose out to stairs. Trust me, I just like the stairs. <laughs> in, a, in a Lego love sort of way, not, not in the same way that I love Richard and Logan. <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, I, looks like this. 
looks like these and these and oh some of these awesome snot pieces some more green and some more of these four of those looks like we're gonna do two four and another two. Oh my goodness um three of these see i'm trying to be really good here and i just need one more the one by two that all right so little landing let's see so we're going to start off with this rounded uh plate that has the little circle on the inside um and we're going to put this plate on top of it this goes here we're going to add these and then we're going to add another step here yeah see we're making the top two steps and this is going to go like this is that right nope haha -ha. see i tried to go too fast go like that and like that. All right, so there we go. There's our little top two steps. And you'll remember there's a reason why we built this into the bottom. It's so that it will fit onto that rounded, that little dot that's sticking out here. Is it? Nope. Listen to me, I was talking, I was saying something like I knew what I was talking about and then I totally didn't know what I was talking about. Um, all right, here we go. Oh, very good. All right, so that attaches the steps up to the top. I thought for sure that that was gonna fit there, but no, actually what it does is it does the same thing as the dot. It doesn't let this close, all right? Um, let's see. We're gonna do these guys. And now we're gonna build our wall all the way around. This has been so fun, y'all. I'm so excited about just getting to build like over between the um, the uh, IKEA thing and then the Fab Max. Um, it was, I don't know, do y'all ever get like that? I get to the point where like after I've built a certain number of mocks, I kind of just like, ah, I need instructions. I just want to build without having to think too hard. <laughs> Definitely uh, have been in that mode. All right, there you go. Another round. Very good. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the those stairs are really are really fantastic. I love what they look like. Now it's like some kind of Hitchcock movie. <laughs> Lego Lego Hitchcock movie. Oh, maybe I need to do that. Yano, let's talk. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to make some kind of I don't know what like cuckoo contraption this is, but there's some kind of little thing happening here. All right, so one of these now this looks like again now i feel like uh, you know i feel like tiago like i'm gonna put out all my little pieces and i'm gonna make my awesome little item whatever that whatever it is that he makes um he does so much cool stuff and how great like um he's come he stopped by the other day actually that was so amazing i was very surprised um and let's see one of these and if you for some reason are not following Tiago, you should definitely be doing that. Tiago Caterino, he does daily um, uh, build, little build lessons and shows you how to build all kinds of fantastic little stuff. So make sure. Um, all right. Uh, yes. Oh yeah, we're talking about people sharing build methods. I love that. It's one of the things that I love about this community. Um, you know, I mean, obviously, I, I just it just feels like people 
aren't caught up on like, oh no, I'm going to hoard my secret of how I did, you know, this such and such thing. I, I, I don't know. I, I find that, um, I think it's really great that people are just so willing to share and, um, and stuff like that. All right. I don't know what this is. Oh, maybe this is a clock. I know there's a clock face on here. Um, but I'm not positive of that. Let's see what happens. So I've built up this little window and you can see there's like the little dot inside that was in a, it's in a Technic hole and a window. And then I'm gonna put these clips on two inverse, or not inverse, what am I saying? Well, two cheese slopes. And then I'm gonna put these gold tiles on here and I'm gonna put these here. Yeah, I think this might be the clock. <coughs> and then it has it's having me fold up like this. And then it's gonna go here. Alright, so that's what it looks like from the back from the front. Okay, and now we're going to do some more um, decorative treatment. We're going to do, the again, utilizing these um, tombstone-shaped pieces. These guys. We're going to make more decorations along the front to carry our uh, design for the front of the building. So by adding these on... Again, you get a nice rounded pole that's only rounded on one side, right? Which is pretty cool. So am I getting there? Am I, am I achieving the Bob Ross vibe? I think I, I need to even be mellower if I'm really gonna, if I'm really gonna hit the Bob Ross vibe, but you can check that out on Twitch later on this afternoon. <laughs> see how how uh, you can how mellow I can be <laughs> um, yeah I'm in love with these little tombstone pieces I'm just in love with lots about this model again it's not quite the um, the epic build that Ninjago City was but it's really in its own right a really delightful build I've used that word a lot to describe this all right so here we go we've got our you know, we built in these snot pieces and then we made these little these little guys and they're gonna fit just like this along the front. And that matches these ones that we did on the first floor. All right. All right. So we'll see about making our way through the rest of this bag because we're so close and then maybe we'll call it a day at that point. So, oh yeah, because we're about to do some really exciting um, building of columns. <laughs> Three columns. Um, and we're going to put them on these, uh, these one by two plates that we left open. Whoops. Whoops. Oh my goodness, everything is just collapsing. I'm just, I got my big sausage fingers in there. All right, let's put those on here, here, and here. Ah, yes, clock. So, this one, we're going to do a black snot, double snot. We're going to do a round. Now, this, I got to say, so we're all used to the standard Lego clock. But this awesome clock tile came out, I believe, with either the Disneyland train or it came out with the uh, the Hidden Side School. I can't remember which one it actually it actually did. Um, and I love this. It has so much more character. Always, I always felt weird trying to do vintage builds with the, that really modern looking white clock. Um, so yeah. Guys, have you guys acquired Diagon Alley? Maybe? 
That's all I'm gonna say. Maybe. Um, but yeah, we'll uh, we, let's see. It's a, it looks really cool. Definitely something for Twitch. <laughs> hey, Chris Barron is here. How's it going, Chris? Very cool. Let's see. Well, I know some people are saying that there's no lugs near them, but you know what? There's a lug right in front of you on your computer screen right now. All of us. Hey, Tricky Lug. Um, and that you're a part of. Um, I know it's not an official lug, but I think it's pretty good. All right, so I, I just attached that there. And there is our clock build. All right, and here, I'll pop it out just so you can kind of see how it, how it looks. All right. Lots of fun little furniture builds in this one. Oh, hooray, window treatments. Y'all know how much I love window treatments. Now, this window treatment utilizes a couple of my favorite ways to do windows. First of all, it incorporates these half rounds. Now, if you remember correctly, when we used the when we when we used these half rounds before when we were talking about window treatments, I was telling you that they um, old arches do not fit on these half round windows. You have to make sure that you have a, the new style of arch, and it is just slightly different. I mean, just slightly. Um, there is, uh, a, you know, just like a hair's difference. Oops, there we go. And it's, uh, it's practically, it's minuscule, um, the difference. But it does, man, if you have the old ones, it just kind of rolls around on top. All right, so we're going to build up. This is another thing I love, is four small windows together. I don't know why I love that, but I do. There we go. There's one nice window. And then we're going to use, again, those awesome little tombstone pieces. Like this. And there's, a, there's our nice window treatment. Right? Very cool. <coughs> Excuse me. Do the same thing here. and one of these guys and our tombstones I just like saying tombstone a <laughs> good thing Halloween's coming up all right okay so there's our two there's our windows and now they are going to go here where we built in all of these snot pieces or I mean sorry jumper plates so one oops one there. Did I do that right? Yes. And one here. Check it out. Really nice. Okay, so now it's having us add some more. We're going to finish off these columns. Like this. Now, these are the these are the newer the newer arches that we were talking about that you kind of have to have. This. And these fit nicely right on top of the other ones. Now, these ones, you'll notice they only are, they are only halfway in, of course, because um, we jumped them, right? But I still think that looks really interesting. And we get a couple of these singing that's something that you might get on the twitch show you might get singing i don't know maybe <laughs> i've been looking for things that are um i've been looking for songs to sing on this show that are royalty free or you know like in the public domain oh my goodness y'all there's so much um in the public domain except or not except um but they are all from like 
it has to be from like 1924 or before, and I wasn't sure quite <laughs> how that would fly. Like I'm not quite sure that you know people are tuning in to hear me saying hello my baby, hello my darling, hello my ragtime gal, which is actually probably um, that one isn't probably in the public domain because of the cartoon, but who knows. <laughs> But, but I have to say, like I do, I play ukulele, and it definitely those those kinds of songs are like right in ukulele territory. Um, let's see. Actually, it's funny that I that's that's one of the songs that I learned on those. Yeah, those flappers did have to dance to something. I don't know if and then this is not for. This is not something for our, um, some of our younger viewers, but if our older viewers, if anybody's been watching Lovecraft Country, which is amazing, um, there was a really fantastic um, bit that took place um, in the 20s in last night's show, and it was, it was pretty awesome, I gotta say. I really enjoyed that. Um, are you gonna build the Hogwarts castle on Twitch? Yes, that's exactly what I will be building on Twitch, is that Hogwarts castle. Um, yeah, it was, last night's episode was pretty great. We really enjoyed it. Especially, now, I don't want to give anything away, but if you watch Steven Universe, if you were, um, there was, I mean, I don't know this for sure, but it seemed to me like kind of a reference <laughs> to Steven Universe in last night's, uh, in last night's episode. But again, I could be wrong. Um, all right. Let's see. I seem to be missing a couple of tiles. Fortunately, they are tiles that I have. And again, they, the, the, it was my big sweaty arm that got stuck onto the um, to the tiles, and then they kind of went skittering. But that's okay. I will fill those in later. No need to fill them in right at the at the moment. Um, let's see. I am um, got these. And let's see how... Oh, what are you grousing about? Logan's under the table. He doesn't like it if you, like... He doesn't like being... If you touch him with your feet by accident, and then he gets all growly. Don't you? Silly. <clears throat> He's very funny. Um, okay, so you can see that this just sits right on top of here. Is that right? Yeah. And there is the front of your building. Let me see if I can do is that better. There you go. Oh, of course, you can see my grandma's table. There you go. Uh, I'm going to pull that in. Hmm? It looks like maybe we got a little off here with the camera, but that's all right. There we go. All right. And there it is. There's the little room that we built attached onto the front. And there is the little back balcony uh, with the windows. Okay. Mr. Man, go on. You are very funny. He, he sits right at your feet and then gets mad if you touch him with your feet. <laughs> uh, bricks... Bricks O'Brien, been lurking for a while, but wanted to say hi. And if you have any questions um, about Twitch, I'd be happy to help. Um, at Jeff can vouch. Oh, awesome. Well, thank you so much. I think um, what would be awesome would be if, if people just came and and were a, a part of it. <laughs> and definitely, um, I would definitely feel encouraged by having people I know there from the stream. Um, that would be great. And then that way, if I do run into any issues, I can say, help. I mean, I definitely have OBS and everything set up for this show. And I think really it's just a matter of like switching over to Twitch and pressing the button. So I don't know how different. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Oh, and there. And we'll just one more here from the front. Birch Books. And I just want to show you that we're about to get to the super interesting top part. But we won't be getting... To that one in a little while um so let's see yeah make sure and check out yeah make sure and check out check out twitch i'm thinking in a couple of hours i don't know i'll probably be on it for a while since that's the way twitch seems to go um as long as they don't you know 
shoo me. As long as they don't bring the cane out and pull me off, I should be all right. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not sure. Um, Smoke up, Johnny. I'm not sure if you have to be on a Twitch account. I don't think so, but I'm not positive of that. Um, make sure to have water close by. I know that's something I never have here. Is enough water? I'm always like. Mm. All right, everybody. Well, that pretty much wraps it up for today. We had a fun time um, checking out all of the videos from from Fab Max, building the um, more on the book on the bookshop. Don't forget to go ahead and tune in. Well, first of all, if you are not subscribed, please subscribe and hit that bell button. And if we get the two, I keep saying if when we get the two K subscribers. I am going to, we are going to give away this Monkey Kid, Monkey King Warrior Mech model on one of the shows. So, uh, tell everybody you know, get them to subscribe. Um, so there's that happening. We are doing our 8x8 Sig Fig challenge this week. And so your challenge is to create a minifigure that represents you and then put it into a little scene. And that scene should be no bigger than an 8x8 plate. Okay, what you can fit on an 8x8 plate. Um, you know, obviously, you have free reign from there. Okay? And you, I will be putting up the link to the uploads on the website uh, as soon as the show is over. Uh, so, like, bef after this, but before Twitch. <laughs> no idea. Um, and I'm pretty sure we're just... I'm pretty sure we're just Tricky Bricks on Twitch. I can't remember. It's been a while since I checked that out. But I think it's... I think we're just Tricky Bricks. Um, so there is that, there's the challenge, we talked about the, um, the giveaway, oh yes, and don't forget, Wednesday, tune in, as we put together this Lego City set, um, oh, and you know what I just noticed it says, can you see what it says there in the corner, ship floats, there's always talk about Lego ships, and whether they float or not, mm -hmm. this one legit floats. We will be putting this together, and we will be talking to you about a cool special project that Lego's been working on um, while we're putting it together. So make sure and check that out on Wednesday. Um, all right. I think that is... Oh, I know. If, uh, if you want to send us an email, you can do that to flynn at trickybricks.com. If you would like to send us something via snail mail for uh, viewer mail... You may do so at Flynn and Richard, P.O. Box 11517, Oakland, California, 94610. That is how you can reach us. <clears throat> no, oh, yes, 94611. Sorry, not zero. 94611. Thank you. Um, oh, is it, Johnny? Oh, okay. Oh, that's right, because somebody had already taken it. So on, on Twitch, we are tricky underscore bridge bridge bricks oh my goodness tricky underscore bricks and i knew one of them was slightly different i can't remember yeah tricky underscore bricks look us up um you'll know because you'll go to the page and it'll be us i don't know y'all <laughs> i know guys looking i'm ridiculous i'm completely ridiculous um, no sticker today, but Tunes from the Past is a thing, and there was the Brick Films Festival. Yeah, we didn't, you know, I didn't do stickers today because we were, all, you know, we were doing the films, and I'm trying to, I'm trying to switch it up so that there's always something different. You never know what's going to happen. Um, so is that true? I, I need to check now. It's on Twitch. It's tricky underscore bricks. Um, let's see. Um, Twitch. Tricky underscore bricks. Let's see what happens if I look that up. Yep. I think that's us. I think. Yep. Tricky underscore bricks. There you go. Ta-da. All right. Thank you, Johnny, for uh, <laughs> for doing that. I appreciate um, I appreciate that. Um, okay. Anybody else? Uh, yes. Underscore confirmed. It's true. Tricky underscore bricks. Thank you, everyone. I appreciate that. Um you says you need an, a, the Twitch account to follow, but not to to wa to watch. So there you go. All right, everybody. Uh, thank you so much for joining us today. 
Um, we will be back on Wednesday at 10 a.m. putting together that awesome city National Geographic um, boat set with that cool shark. Um, and talking a little bit about this new project uh, or item thing. And then uh, we will be here on Friday looking at all the slideshows. Now, don't forget, we are not doing a show this Sunday. We will not be here this Sunday because we are all taking off for uh, BrickCon. So not this Sunday. All right, everybody. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day. Um, and until next time, don't forget to stay safe, stay healthy, wash your hands, wear your mask, get a flu shot. We just had to add that one. <laughs> and we'll see you on Wednesday at 10 a.m. Bye, everyone.